In 2009, the Cincinnati Indian Hill High School class of 1969 held a reunion, the first time that most classmates, including Ken O'Leary, had seen one another in 40 years. And all of a sudden, there's four of us standing there next to each other, and we hadn't really seen each other in 40 plus years. And then it's the band. And everybody said, hey, it's you guys. <laughs> so we were kind of shocked that it was us and that we were the band. The band, called the Lazy Souls, played a few high school dances and was never heard from again. But the only known photo of the band and the new reunion photo were about to change all of that. My mother, bless her heart, had saved the original Polaroid of the, of the uh, Lazy Souls. And I had it blown up to a 5 by 7 along with the new picture, and I sent it to each guy, including Kay. And Kay, of course, being the class Facebook guru, you know, she sent it out to everybody. Well, there became a clamoring to start the band back up. But starting the band back up wouldn't be easy. From 1969 to 2009, how many times did you guys get together? Zero. <laughs> really? None. No. Uh, I kind of put down guitar when I went off to college. The Lazy Souls all raised families and built successful careers, but only Ken O'Leary continued making music. With everyone still working and living in different parts of the country, a comeback was only a dream, but... Dreams never die. Dreams never die. I think all of us, uh, once, once this gets in your heart as a kid, it, it just never leaves. Against all odds, they began practicing again. At first, individually, then trading song arrangements on the internet, and finally traveling with their wives to weekend practice sessions, all with an eye toward playing one more time for their high school classmates. And I thought if we really had the time and we sound good and everything's working, we would repeat our best song from the first set, which is... Preaching Man. Mustang Sound. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Encouraged by their progress, the Lazy Souls set a date more than one year in advance. Almost immediately, posters promoting their performance began circulating in class emails. Lazy Souls, hello Cleveland! 44 years removed from their last gig, the Lazy Souls rolled into Cincinnati for one night only. Drummer Steve Vogel arrives with news of a new grandson. He was actually um, expected yesterday, but uh, he clung on to the uterine walls long enough to be born on uh, today so he could celebrate this with uh, the lazy souls. <laughs> As the band carries in their equipment <laughs> and begins to set up, <laughs> former classmates to stop by to reminisce. We rode on the same bus together. Yeah. Yeah. And to decorate the country club venue. Oh, look at oh, that. You guys so cool. are unbelievable. That is the fantastic. quality is remembered after, after the price, price is, is forgotten. forgotten. What was the price? We Achieve. never got paid a we dollar. Never, got paid. never. That's why we said after the price is forgotten, how can you remember something you never got? Oh, okay. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> One final run through for the Lazy Souls who are joined by vocalist Angela O'Leary, Ken's wife, drummer Tom Vogel, Steve's brother, and bass guitarist Dale Lewis. In 1969, they were almost famous. Tonight, they return to prove that it's never too late. Oh man, what do you hear us tonight? <laughs> we are awesome. <laughs> or as my brother says, we're really good for a group that sucks. <laughs> Everybody ready? Years after a chance meeting and an old photo resurrected a dream, the Lazy Souls are proving that they still have it, and their classmates are proving that they can still party. Watch me now! I'm gonna follow them wherever they go now. <laughs> I'm a groupie. I'm a 
I'm a groovy. Count me in. We got it. After 44 years, the Lazy Souls deliver a great night. Two sets, three encores, and one life lesson for us all. It's never too late to reconnect, not only with one another, but with the dreams and passions of our youth. For me, the moral of the story is I had second thoughts about coming to a class reunion in the first place years ago. And I came reluctantly, and look what's happened. When the opportunity comes, you, you got to take it. This is something that's in me that wants to come out. It's been kind of like hidden for many, many years, and, and I'm sure everybody has things like that. We all kept the dream in our hearts, and now we're uh, living the dream. This is absolutely on our bucket list, and uh, we're, all of us are having a ball. We're like we're, like we're 14 years old again. Thank you.